Hey, it's Auntie Frank, and I'm going to try and make this very quick about templating and automating anything you have to repeat. Okay, so that is basically the premise of all the things that I do. But today I was writing out, drafting out a service offering, and it dawned on me, duh, just create the foundation pieces, the homework, the starting steps, record them joints and put them in the vault. And then when you onboard people, they can get access to it and get started right away rather than using 15 to 45 minutes of your actual working session um, going over those points. I mean, because it's the exact same thing for everyone. Okay, so that's what I mean by document it, template it, and then automate it. So the documentation part of it is me writing out the steps. It's me bullet pointing and drafting um, what actually happens and what I need them to do, figuring out what fields I need for forms and all that kind of stuff. So that's the docu documenting part of it. Templating it. Um, it's just creating a template, right, to use over and over again and edit as needed. So what I'm, how I'm templating for this particular service is I'm going to use Member Vault to house it. Um, and so I set up a product, right? I set it up with no sign up options because they'll only get access to this once they have paid for their Dubsado Done Easy Jumpstart session, which includes up to like two hours one-on-one -on -one of us like gelling everything together and making it work um, in Dubsado. But I can have the modules or lessons or um, account activity that you need to do, boom, <laughs> right? I set that up in here. In my um, so there's a tutorial video. Um, I can have Otter transcribe the video for me and add the transcript file to that, to this section. Um, and then any other files they need that I use in Google Drive. Um, so the standard canned email templates, I've done a set of those. Um, and you know, there's a link to download them. I include that here. If the transcription isn't super long, I would add it under the video. Um, and then the next thing that they have to do. So do this, copy your candy meals into your dub file. So that part is set up, right? But like I said, everything that's the foundation of this particular service is the same. It doesn't matter who the client is. It doesn't matter what they do, who they serve, what they sell, whether it's a physical product or a digital product, um, service-based product, it doesn't matter. The foundation of it, those first steps are the same every time. So rather than waste 45 minutes of their two hours going over the foundation, I give them access to it 15, 20 minutes after they've paid, right? So they have that and they can get started right away. So that's what it looks like in the lessons. And then um, for them going through each lesson, so I'm going to explain to them, look, make sure you mark everything off as you go through it. And then once they get through the four or five steps in here, they'll have a bonus. So um, Member Vault, I love because for a myriad of reasons, but um, gamification is a base um, feature within Member Vault. So you gain a point every time you do, there's like certain tasks you do, you get a point. And so I can, for this particular product, I can assign the unlocking of a different product as a bonus once they hit, for this one, it's five points. So you write the five points, you unlock a bonus, okay? And so once they go through all of those things, 
I might just move the bonus down to the end, right? Or try to. Okay. So there will probably be a couple of other um, lessons in between, but once I get them doing that, I can have them schedule their session, right? So, and even if they did it up front, um, they can still schedule their session at, at some point in time because I set my calendar how far in advance they can do it. But I can link it or depending on how they are in my system already, I can embed the schedule. But they don't even have to leave, like, the classroom, right, the vault, okay? So that is part of the onboarding process, right? So the documentation is me drafting out everything that needs to go in here. Uh, the templating means that I set it up in Member Vault once, and I use it many times. And like I said, for this particular service, everything is the same every time. Okay, so the automating part of template and automate is that when they pay for the service, I'm going to use Zapier to um, create their account in my vault. That's one. And when their account is created in my vault, they'll get an email to say, hey, Here's access to your client portal. Here's your access to the vault. Click here. That link is a one-time link, so they don't have to register to get into the vault. They just click the link, and they should be in there, but there's a couple of extra instructions just in case they aren't. Um, any other products that I have that get, should get added to their account will get added automatically based on actions that I set up in the vault. Okay, so that's the automation part of it. So they have it one, two, three, and it, it beefs up the onboarding experience, right? So um, I know you can do this type of thing in like those bigger um, platforms. I just happen to really love Member Vault for, like I said, for a host of reasons. Um, but the gamification was a big decision maker for me. Now, this one can be for someone who is booking additional one-on-one -on -one time for me once they get through this and, and we're going to go ahead and do some strategy and, and some extra things, right, in the live session. But I can also offer this to someone who doesn't want that extra one-on-one -on -one time. And I can do it at a lower cost. So I've actually made two potential revenue generating products from one service. So this will be the same service. I've removed the bonus, right? Because I've removed the bonus. But in the event that they get through this and find that they want some extra attention, I can have them schedule a tuna. It won't be the same it won't be the same length and time and all that kind of stuff for the other one, but it's, you know, it's an add-on, okay, for, for that service. And it might be that somebody didn't even know that that was available before, but now it's available. Boom. Okay. So the other reason I like Member Vault is that... So this is kind of what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> um, but my images, you know, images and text be added and all that kind of stuff. So if they scroll down, they can see what else I have available, whether it's a paid product, what it, whether it's a um, free product, right? Um, and this can be a myriad of things. And when I have them add it, maybe I want to add as a bonus this make more money class, right? Which is a five day um, drip content mini course. 
for now it's five days. But anyway, I can have this added to them so it would show it would show them the products that they own, my products, and then available products. Okay. So but you know, somebody may not know that I have other products, but when they go to the home page, there it is. Okay. So document, list out everything. Draft your content, get your copy together, get your images together, get your videos together. Um, template, set it up, and then adjust as necessary. So that's what I did in splitting this product into two actual products. And then automate, and I'm using, like I said, I have workflows that are automated within the Psado that do their thing. And at the same time, I'm using Zapier to automate the addition of someone into this product so I don't have to do that. And all of that gets triggered by payment, right? So I don't have to think about doing stuff. I just have to, because I like to double and triple check everything, I will have it set up in my workflow that when um, that person pays and they get sent all of their emails, I'll have it set up so that the side of will email me a to-do item that says double check that this person was added. And that's how that happens, okay? So, go forth and prosper. <laughs> hopefully this one works. Like, I've tried to record this 50, 11 times. So hopefully this one works. Toodles.